What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. So today we're talking corn. I'm going to do it a little bit different than what you're probably used to, just for a little bit of variety, you know. We're going to cook it on the Blackstone griddle, um, just to show that you can do it on there. I'm not saying it's the best way, but you know, you got the Blackstone going, cooking a whole bunch of other stuff, might as well throw some corn on there. So this is gonna be garlic Parmesan grilled corn. Really simple recipe. It's not gonna take much time. We're gonna cook it on the Blackstone about 20 minutes, um, but it's gonna be easy to prepare. So first thing, we got some corn. This is just uh, some bicolor corn I got from a, a local fruit stand. Not sure how good it is, but it'll work today. And a little bit of softened butter. And then for the main attraction is this. Uh, Johnny's garlic spread. You've seen me use this in a shrimp video I've done and I probably use it in some other ones but th this stuff is fantastic. I like to put it on almost everything. It's garlic and Parmesan basically what it is. So we're gonna keep it simple. So first thing we're gonna do is just lather up some of this corn in uh, the softened butter. I can keep this uh, stuff from blowing away on me. It's gonna be the uh, challenge of doing this outside. Normally I would just have this stuff already prepared, but there's better lighting out here for this video. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I'll just get one of these prepared for you and then go ahead and get the other ones ready and we'll get them on the Blackstone. And, and for the Blackstone, I've actually got it on about a, it's around a medium heat, maybe just a little bit tad past medium on the higher side. Uh, we don't need it blasting hot because when this starts getting, when this butter starts melting and heating up, it's gonna start creating steam in this aluminum foil. And that's why we're gonna use aluminum foil that's usually the way I do it anyway. You know, some people like to leave it in the husk, but you know, when I'm cooking, I like to have, I like to have the butter and the seasonings on it. So then we're just gonna take our seasoning. And once we're in, the way I like to do mine is I just take the aluminum foil and then roll it back up just like it was its, in its own uh, husk. And I just close the ends, just crimp them up. And then that butter, like I said, is gonna start melting, creating steam, it's gonna cook. Um, we might get a little bit of black char marks on some of the corn, that's what I like, but um, we're not guaranteed that. If I do it on the grill and I get a little bit hot, I'll, most of the time I will. But that's how we're gonna do it. Let me get the rest of these on, and we'll get them on. All right, so the Blackstone is up to temp right now. I just put a little oil on it. That's why it's starting to smoke right now. So the idea, we're gonna cook about 20 minutes. I want to do five minutes per quarter side, if that makes sense. So we're just going to put it straight on the grill. I'm going towards the back only because I have this hood sitting here and it holds a little bit more heat. You can right away hear that butter start crackling um, and it's going to get to working. So I time everything. just to make sure I'm doing things correctly. So I'm just starting my iPhone. We're going five minutes. 
and then once it goes off, I will flip it a quarter turn, do another five until we hit about 20 minutes. And we should be good after that. Now, if you want your corn done a little bit more, once it comes off, you wanna let it sit for a while. As long as it's in that foil, it's just gonna get, continue to steam. I like mine a little bit on the crunchy side when I cook, so it will come out right away, maybe, maybe just a few minutes after we're done. And for that Johnny's, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. I believe I already created one um, on when I did the, the shrimp recipe. Um, so if you're looking at, if you want to get some, it's going to come off of Amazon is where you could possibly pick it up unless you have, I got that, that one from Costco. So if you have one Costco around, you might be able to pick it up there, but they don't always have it. If not, Amazon's always the fallback, pretty easy to pick up. All right, so five minutes is up. So just about a quarter turn. And another five minutes. Now one other thing I wanna to talk to you about is, you see I'm using just a, a pair of tongs. A little bit of advice if you're doing corn on the grill. Um, here I'm not having to worry about it too much, but I've had times where I'm doing it on a charcoal grill, and you could do this on a charcoal grill also. Um, be careful when you're grabbing with the aluminum foil, because if you press too hard or you know gouge at it too much, you get a hole in it, and that butter's going to leak out and cause a fire. <laughs> Might ruin your corn. Not that I've ever done that. All right, that's the last five minutes and we'll get them off. All right, guys, our 20 minutes up. So we'll go ahead and get these off. I'm gonna let them rest for a couple minutes. It's kind of cool the aluminum foil down. First thing I'm gonna do though is turn this Blackstone off before I forget and just let it run. All right, let me get these off and onto the cutting board and then we'll crack one open. All right, guys, these have been cooling off for about a couple minutes now. It doesn't take aluminum foil very long to cool off. But remember, the longer these sit, sit in the um, aluminum foil, your, your corn's just gonna get that much more tender. So for me, like I said, I like to have a little bit crunchier corn. So let's go ahead and take a, a peek at what we got. Oh, buddy you can smell you can smell the garlic in it now at this time if you wanted to add a little bit more you possibly could but it's all in there it's also still on the uh, some of the parmesan cheese is still on the I don't want to foil, so if you just take and baste it around, that's how you can get the good goodness back on there. All right, it looks like it's perfectly cooked all the way around for me. All right, guys, I hope this helped you out if you're looking to cook corn on your Blackstone. Like I said, it's just it's a super simple thing that if you're cooking other stuff, easy just to wrap some up and throw it in there. 
the Johnny's garlic just gives it a little extra kick for some extra flavor. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm not going to take a bite here for you. It's still pretty warm, and um, I'm going to be doing some other stuff with it anyway. So thanks for watching. As always, if you got any questions, go ahead and put a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and always holler back.